Okay, so I have to apologize to my viewers in advance. This is incredibly petty, perhaps the most petty video that I've ever released, but I have to comment on this. So Mark Zuckerberg, he just changed the name of Facebook's parent company to Meta, and they did this really cringeworthy press conference, but one moment really stood out to me where he had a conversation with someone who I believe is a developer for virtual reality applications and video games. And the conversation that they have is so, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's so fucking weird that I don't think it's hyperbole to say that Mark Zuckerberg has never had a conversation with a normal human being. And this is evident in the way that he talks, the way that they use hand gestures in this overly exaggerated, really excited way. There's too many points. This is fucking strange. I, I, I don't know what to say. So I'm going to mute myself and we're going to watch it uh, together. Uh, and I'll, I'll put the the good audio over over this here so we can kind of see. But just just take a look. Pay attention to the hand gestures. This is so fucking weird. Keep creating. Now, Deb from our studios team is joining me. Deb, do you want to take us through some of the exciting games in the pipeline for Quest? Absolutely. Over the years, we've had the opportunity to work with incredible developers like Vertigo Games, the studio behind fan favorite Arizona Sunshine. Oh, I love Arizona Sunshine. That game basically got me and my friends through the first few months of the pandemic. Absolutely. <laughs> like, what? I love Arizona Sunshine. That game get basically got me and my friends through the first couple of months of the pandemic. Who talks like this? Who has conversations like this? This is not how normal people talk. This is so fucking weird. That's awesome. That's if you awesome. enjoy that, Mark, I think you'll be excited that we're partnering with Vertigo on five more great games on five. from Deep Silver and others. We'll share more about this lineup very soon. Nice. What else is coming? Well, the metaverse is constantly <laughs> evolving. So one of the most important aspects will be live service games that launch updates and new downloadable content regularly, like Echo VR, Beat Saber, <laughs> Onward, Pistol Whip, and more. We're focused on this a lot right now making sure games can build out active communities. Beat Saber has a passionate community. Oh, I love Beat Saber. So do I. <laughs> and Beat Saber just passed $100 million in lifetime revenue on Quest alone. It's a great example of a game that keeps releasing fresh content. They've actually been working on evolving the way that you interact with the tracks and feel the music. Also, <laughs> the team has been working on something really cool. Check this out. Wow. I can't wait to play this. And they keep partnering with incredible artists to release new music packs all the time. Did you play the Billie Eilish music pack last month? Yeah, a little more than I should have. I probably should have been working more on this metaverse presentation. <laughs> well, they have a great lineup of artists for 2022. And there's one more epic surprise before the end of the year. So stay tuned. Okay. Have you played Population One? I mean, yeah, I love the game well, so much. That for those who haven't, Population One is a thrilling battle royale that is only possible. Can't do any more. <sighs> I don't know what it is about this clip in particular, but it really makes me want to kill myself. That's awesome. In Roblox, of course. And I just love how he's like, oh, <laughs> I played the Billy Eyelash Beat Saber upgrade. <laughs> I love his music. Billy's a good guy. I actually know Billy myself. I mean, this is so strange in the way that she's like, well, there's five new tracks, everyone. This is this is why America is so fucked up. Absolutely. Because these corporate dumb fucks, they're the ones who control everything. They control politics. They control every fucking aspect of our lives. We are living in a late stage capitalist dystopian hell. And these are are our overlords these absolute fucking clown dipshits who don't even talk to normal people well let me tell you about beat saber and this all new really hip track ha <laughs> raise the roof i just this shit honestly it makes me root for climate change like it makes me want human beings to go extinct at some point like i think that <laughs> This, this shit, honestly, I don't know what the fuck it is about this. It it puts me in such a dark place because, uh, and look, I'm overreacting. I'm being way too dramatic, but this is so fucking weird. And it just, it, it, these are the people who have control in American society. These weirdos, these 
fucking androids. <sighs> I mean, look, I told you that this wasn't going to be substantive, but I, I, I don't know what the fuck to say. That is just, this is too weird. Anyone who sees this, if you don't get nauseated from watching that, you're not a real person. You're, you're weird. I think you're the one with the problem, not me, for overreacting to this. I think that if you see that and you think everything is perfectly copacetic, it's all normal, I think that you're the one with the problem because normal people don't talk like that. I love Beat Saber. I love Arizona Sunshine. It's what helped me and my friends get through the pandemic. Motherfucker, you probably have never played any video game a day in your life. During the pandemic, you and your friends were like, I don't know, swimming in your indoor pool in your mansion. Uh, you, you were doing weird shit, probably drinking the blood of, of children. I, I don't want to, like, dog whistle to conspiracy theorists. I'm, I'm being facetious here. But I just feel like, you know, th these people are so detached and they try to hype up this uh, product that they're selling with their fake enthusiasm. And it's just, it's so disingenuous. It's so scripted. You can have a conversation with someone and just, it doesn't have to be scripted. Not everything has to be manufactured and scripted, but this is, uh, this is the dystopian society that we're living in. Again, I'm just rambling at this point, but I, I just, I want you to see this video and I hope it makes you suffer as much as, as it makes me suffer because I can't unsee this. And there's something about this video that broke me, but, um, yeah, that's, that's it.